So he's selling at a higher price and buying at a lower price and the difference will go to the for foreign currency market. What's actually going on in inside this this method or this formula? Let's take a look at the intuition behind dividing the bid to the ask and dividing bid uh, of dollar per yen to the ask of dollar per franc. So to take a deep look at the process we need to look at this relationship. What we are doing basically we want to know at what value of Swiss franc the foreign currency buyer will buy one yen. So the foreign currency buyer will buy one yen for how many dollars? Because we know the 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 exchange rate between dollar and uh, and and yen. So let's assume that the foreign currency buyer will buy yen for dollars. So for how many dollars the foreign currency buyer will buy one yen? So we know that the foreign currency buyer will buy one yen for 0 0.0122. So if we if we uh, give him one yen, he will give us zero point zero one double two dollars. So here, one yen equal to zero point zero one double two dollars. Now we have we have given him one yen and we have taken from him zero point zero one double two dollars. But we need francs, so we'll take these dollars to the seller of franc and we'll ask him to convert these dollars into franc. So we'll take 0 0.0122 dollars and we'll go to the seller of franc. The seller of franc will tell us, will give us the ask price and he will tell us that I sell one franc for 1.1841 dollars. So this is the exchange rate. One franc equals to one sorry this is this should be this should this is an error let me correct it this is this is not zero this is point so this is 1.1841 dollars but we have 0 0.01221 dollars so to to calculate how many francs we can get we can cross multiply this term when we cross multiply we are actually what we are doing we are dividing 0 0.0122 to 1.1841 dollars so here 0 0.122 dollars divided by 1.1841 dollars equals to 0 0.0103 franc per yen so this formula actually uh, the intuition behind the formula is given in this diagram what we are doing basically we are we are selling uh, we are selling the yen and taking the dollars and then for the dollars we are taking the francs so in this way we can calculate the exchange rate between franc and yen or in other words we can calculate the bid price between bid price of franc per yen okay now let's build a story to understand the intuition behind calculating the ask price of franc per yen and why we are dividing the ask price of dollar per yen to the bid price of dollar per franc. So for this, let's take a look at this diagram. So to calculate the ask price, we want to calculate at what price the foreign currency seller will sell yen. We know that the foreign currency seller will sell one yen for 0 0.0134 dollars. So he will sell one yen and he will take 0 0.0134 dollars but what if he does not want to take dollars if he wants to take franc because we want to know the ask price of franc per yen so let's assume the foreign currency seller of yen does not want to take dollars but we know the exchange rate of one yen for 0 0.0134 dollars so if the foreign currency seller will sell one yen so he will if we give him 0 0.0134 dollars he will refuse he will say no I want francs so what we have to do just to understand this just to make a story we shall ask him we shall say him that okay take 0 0.0134 dollars and tell us for how much francs you will give the 0 0.0134 dollars back to us so it's it's I think it's not confusing 
what we want to do we want to calculate the ask price at which the foreign currency seller will sell yen and we want to calculate the ask price in terms of franc we know the exchange rate between yen and dollar this is the foreign currency seller will sell one yen and will take 0 0.0134 dollars but if he does not want to take dollars and if he, ta if he wants to take franc what story we, we have to understand this the story is that we shall ask him we shall say him that okay take 0 0.0134 dollars and tell us for how much uh, franc you will give 0 0.0134 dollars back this is similar like saying that for how many dollars you will buy one franc because what we want to do we want to take these dollars back and we want to give him franc so what he is doing he is buying franc so uh, alternatively what we want to know we want to know what is the buying price of one franc for dollars so he will tell me that okay I, sh I buy the buying price of one franc for dollars is 1.1839 dollars so we say okay if you are giving us 0 0.0134 dollars how many francs you are buying if you give us back 0 0.0134 dollars according to this exchange rate how many francs you are buying so to cross multiply by cross multiplying we can calculate 0 0.0134 dollars divided by 1.1839 dollars equals to 0 0.01132 francs per yen so he will say okay he will give he will he will buy 0 0.01332 uh, francs for this much dollars so in this way what we are doing we are dividing the ask price of dollar per yen to the bid price of dollar per franc so if this is confusing just leave it aside and just follow this convention this formula that if you want to calculate the bid price keep the bid in the numerator and ask in the denominator if you want to calculate the ask price keep the ask price in the numerator and bid in the denominator and we know that the bid price is the buying price of the base currency and the ask price is the selling price of the base currency so in the numerator we we shall write the bid price of uh, of of uh, of the base currency and in the denominator we shall write the ask price of of uh, the the other currency similarly to calculate the ask price in the numerator we shall write ask price of the base currency and in the denominator we shall write the bid price of the court currency or the other currency if we follow this convention let's calculate the bid price of yen per franc so similarly we, sh we need to write the bid divided by the ask and the bid price in this case would be represented in terms of dollars per per franc sorry and in the denominator the ask price of dollars per yen so what is the bid price of dollar per franc the bid price of dollar per franc is 1.1839 and in the denominator we shall write ask price of dollar per yen the ask price of dollar per yen is 0 0.0134 so if we divide this if we divide 1.1839 to 0 0.0134 the result is 88.3507 and what is the unit the unit is yen per franc so this is the bid price of yen per franc so following the same intuition let's calculate the ask price of yen per franc so ask would be in the numerator and the bid would be in the denominator and the ask price is the would be represented in terms of dollar per franc and the bid price would be in terms of dollar per yen and if we divide this what is the ask price of dollar per franc the ask price of dollar per franc is 1.1841 so we we write it in the numerator and what is the bid price of dollar per yen 
the bid price of dollar per yen is 0 0.0122 so it would be in the denominator and if we divide 1.1841 to 0 0.0122 uh, the result would be 97.0574 and the unit would be yen per franc so what it says it says that the foreign currency let me take this aside so that you can see so this is the price at which the foreign currency buyer will buy one franc so the foreign currency buyer will buy one franc for 88.3507 yen and the foreign currency seller will sell one franc for 97.0574 yen so the difference would go to the foreign currency market so this is all about the foreign currency exchange rate quotations and conversion if you are, are still confused watch this video once again and hope it would help in understanding the conversion and quotation process of foreign currency exchange rates thank you for watching finance cottage